my mom loves to garden, so she created this really beautiful kind of a meditation zone down here. My mom recently retired. She was working for a company called ACTA, the Alliance for California Traditional Arts. She works on getting grants to a lot of uh, different uh, California um, dance companies and music companies just dedicated to preserving uh, indigenous culture. Mm. So, um, yeah, my mom's always been into, you know, world dance and world music. And uh, obviously with my, my father being an Israeli folk dance teacher, it was like, you know, an immediate connection. And uh, so there was always, you know, between music from, uh, you know, the Middle East and between my mom incorporating a lot of world dance from all over the world. There was so much different music growing up in my house. So it was pretty cool. Uh, and then, you know, once I started playing piano, I mean, it was either playing music or hearing music or seeing dance or something. I mean, it was just constantly, constantly around. As a kid in this room playing piano, I always thought that my music would be heard. I always like pictured like all these people, you know, singing along to my music or whatever, whether I was, I, I didn't picture myself as a singer, but Somehow I just felt like my compositions would be heard. Yo, make some noise for the horn section. Yo, sing with us! Whoa, oh, oh. We wanna move, we wanna groove, we wanna move, we wanna... Yeah, non-stop. Yes, we wanna move, we wanna groove, we wanna move, we wanna... Yeah. Because you can't stop this feeling, you can't stop this groove You can't stop this music, well you can't kill this mood Music in the message, message in the music Never leave a sign in the right time, it'll give a light And let me tell you, now we're grooving I feel like roots reggae music Hey, turn it up, I wanna lose it I feel like roots reggae music Alright, we're grooving You know, it, it's interesting because when my dad died, every like male adult that was in my life was never really like that father figure. You know, it was always like more of like a friend, and that's really what I wanted. I didn't really wasn't really interested in like having my father be replaced. Um, but you know, the the looking back at it, I was just a kid being a kid at the time, and it was something that we never really talked about. But now that I'm older, I look back and, you know, my mom had to, she, she was basically a single mother with three kids and working hard. And, um, you know, we weren't poor, but we weren't rich at all. I mean, we, you know, my mom had to work really hard to support the whole family. So it feels really good to give back. You know what I mean? I owe a lot to my mom for working really hard. She put us through really good education. Um, you know, the kids came first, you know, like they should, but, you know, she, she did it right. You want to know what movie I've seen more than any other movie? Dirty Dancing, and it's only because my older sister and her friends all thought, like, Patrick Swayze was, you know, like, the most gorgeous man of all time, so they would watch Dirty Dancing over and over again, and I, you know, I had to watch too. Piano recital, there we go. June 16, 1991. Let's see if we could, let's see if this thing even works. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, there we go. That's my sister. I think I'm before her. She was way better than me at the time. That's me. I don't know what I just said, but there we go, it's more like it. <laughs> so 
Honestly, I think I was just excited for it to be done. My mom would always tell me before I went to bed just to be thankful for life, thankful that I'm alive. Um, and I think that's a really important thing to tell yourself at the, at the end of each day and in the morning, just be thankful that you have a roof over your head, thankful that you have food on your plate. Um, and, you know, she's so right. And, um, that's something I even try to like incorporate in the music too, is just to give thanks. You know, you hear it all the time in reggae music, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to be alive. And so, it's so true. Like, you know, once you give thanks, you start, you know, all your like other problems seem like to be so minuscule, right? You're like, wait a minute, I'm alive. I have food on my plate. I have a roof over my head. Like every other thing, you know, shouldn't really matter that much. No, no pressure, Eric, no pressure. It's gonna be a good day. My mom had a very difficult time retiring because she loves her work. Similar to what, you know, I love performing, I love doing what I do. I don't ever really want to stop. Um, I mean, my, my, my job is also my hobby, so um, I don't even think about it like a job. I just, I'm just so lucky I get to perform and, and write music and make a living out of it. It's pretty crazy. Cold to warm, I'll start what I can. I feel like I'm not really able to express myself unless it's through music. Like that's my opportunity to really show who I am, uh, to demonstrate my emotions, to tell a story. So I, I don't ever see myself stopping. I feel like that's gonna be what I do when I'm 60, 70. I mean, as long as I can go, as long as my health is there, I'm just gonna keep on doing it. I don't know what kind of music it's gonna be at that point, but it'll be something. And I'll probably enjoy it just as much then as, as I am now. I'm lucky because we live in a time where I can record music and music can be heard by when I'm gone. Um, you know, there's a song that we, uh, there's a song that, there's a song on our, our last album called Healing and, and it's basically I want to leave something that when I, when I do leave this, this planet, um, when I do pass on, I want a song to be, you know, heard by uh, anybody that <laughs> is able to listen at the time. So I, I, I just want to, you know, I'm lucky that I, I'm able to create art that can live on when I, when I pass on. I feel like I like, I feel like I have everything I want, you know, I get to do what I love to do. I get to help people out, both through the music and then monetarily through, you know, funding, crowdfunding. And, that's why I love doing what I do. Like people get to listen to my music and get to feel better about life. Like, sweet. That's, that's a win for me, it's a win for them. And I just hope that like, they'll do the same. Like if, in whatever way they can, if they can listen to my music and then ultimately use their own gift to share positivity with the world. That's what it's all about. Give them a yard and take a ride. Once a man and twice.
Destruction. 